Hi, this is Joe with J. Alexander Roofing, 152 Buttonwood Drive, Bowling Green, Ohio. I'm here today performing a video inspection of the roof. I'm also going to take measurement for the purpose of estimate. All right, I get up here, I kind of walk around, kind of get a feel for what's going on with the roof. Let's start with uh, the product itself. Kind of a, uh, I, don't, I don't want to call it cheap, but a, but a low line product. It's an old three tab, single ply shingle. These things are actually only manufactured to last about 15, maybe 20 years if you're lucky. Judging by just, you know, the shape of this roof right now, it's getting to the end of its life expectancy. It is still laying pretty flat, which is a good sign. That means you're pretty well ventilated. However, um, you kind of look down this, down this part of the roof, and you can see how the shingles are starting to curl. It, it's the fact that the frost is on the roof right now is actually helping. You know, it's kind of amplifying that. You can see it better because you know the, the contrast in color. When that shingle flipped up, you can see the black side underneath it. And the other part was this back, back roof here. It's got two layers on it. That's kind of a that's kind of it's, it's not best not best practice at all um it, it does cut the cut the life of the roof down so that's working against us as well and then we go over to things like this um i'm assuming there is some step flashing underneath it but since they added the second layer they didn't properly flash it they just ran a bead of caulk down that so you know that, that does raise a little bit of a red flag and some uh reason for concern something i do like about this roof and actually both chimneys are in really good shape so I'll get a close-up of that other one over here. All the mortars in really good shape, maybe just for some pre preventative maintenance. You might want to shoot a sealer over top of that. We try to do that every time we do a roof, but big chimney in good shape, so that's definitely going to save anybody some money um, because those are not cheap. Ventilation, we're, un we're under ventilated back here. Three box vents. I'd like to increase that a little bit. There's also no intake, so what you want ideally is air coming in from the bottom and exhausting from the top. We don't have we don't have an intake at all right here. That's you know it's not the be all end all, but when we strip roof down, we try to you know bring them up not not up the code per se, but up to par, up to our rule of thumb or up to our standards. Go up to this roof. Sorry, focusing a little bit. Pretty much same situation. Um, the shingles are starting to show some signs of curl. When you zoom in, the granules are starting to wear off. And then my phone's going to kind of illustrate this. When you look up and see the shiny substance coming through. It's hard because of the sunlight right there. We got a little bit of that shiny, sh the shiny part of the shingle coming. That's actually the fiberglass mat starting to show. So it's not like drastically worn out or anything like that. There is a little bit of life in it. You might get another five years out of this roof, but that's where we're at. You know, it's definitely for for a 20, 15, 20 year product. We're on the last quarter of it for sure. But it, you know, it's it's not the worst roof by any means that I've ever seen. This chimney right here in really good shape. Maybe the last time this roof was done, they might have touch pointed it. This has been this has been pretty well maintained. It could use a, a bead of MP1 that, uh, that's like a masonry sealant. It could use a little sealant around that, but this is this is me nitpicking. That's not in bad shape at all. This pipe down here, the gasket looks a little bit worn out, but once again, that's me nitpicking. It, it is it is a three tab roof. There are two layers back there. It is under ventilated, but like I like I said when we were talking down on the ground, this roof's laying pretty pretty well, all things considered. It's just one of those things where. Um, we have a 15 to 20 year product and it's getting it's getting towards the end of its life cycle but once again not crisis mode on this roof there's a little bit of time left in it once again joe from j alexander roofing 152 buttonwood drive bowling green ohio all i'm gonna do now is take a couple measurements and i'm gonna pull some satellite imagery to get exact uh exact square footage of this roof thanks a lot